The Lord said to Mary Magdalene, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. Today marks the memorial or the feast of St. Mary Magdalene, who is often referred to in literature as the Apostle to the Apostles because of the directive she got from the risen Lord, which we'll hear about in this evening's Gospel. We invoke her intercession at our Mass this evening for our own needs, for the needs of our parish, the needs of our country, and the needs of the world in these trying pandemic times. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says this, On my bed at night I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought but did not find him. So I will rise and go through the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought but did not find him. The watchmen came upon me on their rounds in the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? Scarcely had I passed them than I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you, my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Please stand to acclaim the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Tell us, Mary, say what you did see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose, I saw Christ's glory as he rose. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. Mary said, outside near the tomb, weeping. Then, still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then, and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to my father. But go and find the brothers, and tell them, I am ascending to my father, and your father, to my God, and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. The response to our prayers of intercession this evening is, Lord Jesus Christ, you are our light. The light shines out in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Let us thank our Lord for bringing his light to our lives. Word of God, you have brought the light of eternity to the darkened world. May it open the minds and hearts of all the children of the church. Show your care for all who dedicate their lives to the service of others. May your grace inspire their actions and sustain them to the end. Lord, you heal the paralytic and forgive him his sins. Forgive us all our guilt and heal the wounds of our sins. People follow the light to new knowledge and discovery. May they use your gifts to serve the whole human family and so give glory to you. We pray for the sick, for all who are poorly in mind or body. And we pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette that they may be strengthened and sustained. We pray in a special way for all those families, particularly those families in our own parish who are mourning the loss of a loved one, that they may be consoled. We pray also this evening for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic that God the Father may grant health to the sick, 
strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. Lead all our deceased loved ones from darkness into your own wonderful light. In your mercy, show them the radiance of your glory. And we remember in a special way at Mass this evening, Dimpna Mackey, Mary Catherine McCanny, Martin Carville, and Annie Atkinson, all of whose anniversaries occur today. We also keep in our prayers Rogerio Alves Jimenez, who is six months dead today. We also pray for those who have gone to God in recent days and weeks, praying especially for Leontia Kerr, Matt Sloan, Willie Lappin, Sally Donnelly, Antoinette Keeney, Nee Jones, late of Belfast and formerly of Porter Down, Jerry McAtee, Teresa Halfpenny, Patsy Lamb, and Sean Campbell. Lord Jesus Christ, in your own name. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, made Mary Magdalene the first herald of Easter joy. Grant that following her example and helped by her prayers, we may in this life proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning with you in glory through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks 
as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop, Michael, his assistant bishop, Sean, our retired bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. 
there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the love of Christ impels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and was raised. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with you. Amen. And for protection tonight. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ.